Funding for Painting Journeys is provided by Veritas. Financial knowledge is power. Be empowered. God's beauty is all around us, and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the show. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and this is Painting Journeys. And we're taking a journey today to Laguna Beach in Southern California. If you've never been there, well, you're going to enjoy this show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm just kind of blocking in the, uh, the painting, the drawing, and I didn't like what I did, so I'm working a little, working it over a little bit. Um, let me tell you about my, my colors. I have um, on my palette, I starting with my white, my warm colors are all down here. And my white, my yellows, my reds, and then I go into my greens, then into my blues, violets, and then Payne's gray. I never use black, okay? And so from that, I, I mix all the colors I need. Right now, I was just trying to sketch this in um, kind of have a, a, an idea of where I wanted to go with this particular uh, painting. Now, I, would, I would say that this is more of a study of a rock and wave study than an actual studio type painting. And the reason I'm doing it today is because with only an hour, it doesn't really give me much time to complete a painting, and I want to see if I can finish this study today. So anyway, um, as you can see, the water, I, right now I'm starting to block in some of the darks, but as you can see, the water is, has a little bit of a, of a dark um, greenish hue to it as opposed to the painting that um, right here that I did. This is of the Italian Riviera. The water was very blue. And um, today, seen, the water has more of a greenish hue. So that's, that's what I want to try to get in here. And so I'm taking a little cooler green and adding just a little bit of white to it. Okay, now I bet you this is gonna be much better. Once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klisch. You're watching Painting Journeys, and I'm really glad you joined us today. So hang in there, and when we're done, hopefully we'll have a painting. Okay, can you hear the scratch of my brush there as it's working? Let me tell you a little bit about um, Laguna Beach. I'm a California girl. I was born there, lived there quite a few years. And one of my favorite places to go in the summertime was Laguna Beach. It's, um, it's just, it's really beautiful. There's such a contrast of color and, um, of color and, and the plants and the, um, um, the landscape, the mount, the cliff sides and, the rocks, it, it's not like Newport. Newport is quite flat, so is Balboa, but Laguna is wilder, and the rocks stick out in the water like this, and it's, it's very exciting watching them 
come in. Right now, I'm just going to try to block in some something here to, that I can go back in and and paint over. I just want to get this some color on this canvas. Anyway, I had the opportunity to travel to Southern California this past summer. And I hooked up with a dear friend uh, who's been a friend of mine for I don't know how long. And um, we went, of course, to Laguna, our old haunt. And it was so, it was just so glorious being there, you know, with a friend sitting on the beach, watching all the people. And just, just to see it once more after all these years. I've lived in Wisconsin now for 26 years, so it was a real treat to go back. It's like going home and away. We've got some real dark wave action in there. And in there, okay, and this is even darker yet, okay. So as I'm saying, I, we, we went and we were walking around and going to our usual haunts, and had a nice lunch watch the volleyball players on the beach. They have leagues. Of course, they're all very good at what they do. And But mostly, I just photographed. And because I wanted to bring what I was seeing back to share with you, the viewer, I wanted to share my love of this area and the ocean with you as we journey across this canvas. This is a little bit lighter. Seems to be a little bit bluer. You know, sometimes you may have the best of intentions, but you just don't hit the mark. And but that's okay. You don't want to give up. You just keep working it out, working it out. And sooner or later, it'll start looking like something. And then if it doesn't, then we just take it home and wipe it off the canvas and try again another day. But I think this will work out okay. It's more violet. The vegetation in, uh, in uh, at, at, along the coastline there in, in Laguna is quite a, a mixture. You see uh, some cactus palm trees of course and but then you'll also see flowers like the type that you see here in the in the midwest is kind of a of a mixture of of um, of vegetation well let me just show you a picture here you're going to stay there Now this is a this is a really nice picture, and it shows what I'm talking about with the cactuses and the the yellow. Now that's a, definitely a midwestern type flower, and then you see the the uh, the greenery over here, and, um, and then of course the water looks a little bluer here. Um, This one here, this picture here, now this shows you a little bit more of the type of plants that um, are there. There's a lot of, I guess you would call them succulents, but they have a, uh, a super amount of, of color to them. And when you are standing there and you're looking at this, the landscape and then you look beyond and see the sand and the ocean is just it's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful yeah, i i really enjoy being in that area so now let's get back to this all right okay 
And we don't want to take up too much of our time fussing with this. We've got to get some darks in here though. And I'm just not hitting the mark yet, but I think I will. I think I will. You know, I'm the little train that goes, I think I will, I think I can, I think I can, yeah. That's me today. All righty here. Just bear with me though. Don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me out here hanging by myself. Just bear with me. Can go no place, can't go any place but up. It'll get better. Okay, there we go. All right. See, and I don't really want to put any white up in this area here because I want to save that for my lighter areas um, of, um, of paint to show the, the, um, to show the, the, the waves, the top of the waves. And, you know, the, the wave itself, it has an anatomy. There's an anatomy to a wave, and you have to understand that. Artists have to study the ocean for many, many years to really um, understand how the water is moving. And when you come to a place like Laguna, where the water is going in every different direction imaginable, it can be confusing, overwhelming even, to try to paint that. Okay. Now I'm just going to come down here. This is getting lighter in here. Okay. Now I had a viewer from New Jersey contact me and she asked that I, she said she loved the show, but she asked that I please tell the viewers uh, what colors I'm using when I mix. And I'm really sorry to say that I can't really do that because, um, I mean, I'll try to as I go along, but, but most of the time I'm moving so fast and it's so instinctual that um, if I took the time to say, well, now this is the Viridian Green and now I'm using the um, Alizarin Crimson, it would just, you know, it would, it would be very um, distracting and uh, I, don't, I don't believe it would flow as well for me as the creator or you as the audience. But I really appreciated hearing from um, the viewer in New Jersey, and I hope that she'll continue to watch this show even if I cannot accomplish what she, what she uh, thought she would like me to do. So... There we go. A lot of quick movement in here. And, okay, now I'm gonna save this up there for later. Um, now down here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in the sand because I think it's, um, yeah, I want the sand to set up a little bit while I'm working on those rocks. And then, so I can come back in with the water that's over it. Um, mm -hmm, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All righty. Big decisions, big decisions. <laughs> now, and we'll take a knife here and we'll make up some nice sand color. Now, as I look at that, I'm seeing there again, a little violet. We wanna make the painting harmonious and then it's dulled with uh, some gold. Ooh, ooh, I made hot pink. Wow, beautiful, beautiful color, but it doesn't look like sand. Let me see here, we'll try a little blue in there. And let's see what we can, what kind of a mess we'll make here. All right, a little white. All right, now we have a beautiful, Icy blue, and we're gonna put some more yellow ochre in it. No, we'll put a little bit of orangey red in it. There, let's see how that looks. Okay, it's turning, it's turning. See, if you wanna watch the, <laughs> the progression, 
of what happens when you put different things in the paint, the different colors. If you, you can see, I hope you can see anyway, uh, what is happening. Now, if I take my knife and I put it up here and I put it next to that, I see that this is my, what's, what is here is, um, needs a little more of an orangey uh, look to it. It needs to be uh, warmed up just a, just a bit, just a bit. Okay, now is that too much? No, it's not, see, it's right on. Just what we wanted. And all those changes that that paint went through as I added the different colors to it to make that, you'd never believe that it's gonna turn out okay, but an educated guess every once in a while does help. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this on really quick because I don't want to take any more time than necessary. So this is just gonna be really quick put on here. And I want it thin because I want to put that water over it. I'm sorry about the annoying sound of the brush. Now I can come back in and I can lighten some places and make it look more um, warmer or cooler just by adjusting um, the temperature of the paint on my palette. But for right now, we just want this to look like the, a thin coating and it'll hopefully set up for us and that'll be the last area that we come back to. Um, and I do see, I do see some dark shadow um, underneath the rocks on this side that is kind of like making the rock um, shadow, casting a shadow in the water just ever so slightly. And so we want to try to be sure and get that in. It's very important to have our, our, our shadows um, in the, the darks that kind of help to set the object down onto the uh, canvas. This is coming down here like this. And it needs a little warmer look to the um, um, shadow. So I'm adding a little more red um, to my dark here, especially right in here. Oh yeah, okay. There, that's quite nice. And then we soften, soften that edge out a little bit to make it look like it's more of a, of a shadow. And then there's some shadow over here and a little bit down here. And if I go like this, then it kind of helps it to look a little more like a... All right, now, okay, so I, I um, want my rock right in here to be much bigger so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wipeout tool and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna wipe this out right here and I'm gonna redraw this and be more careful because this rock, uh, ooh, not up that far. This rock I want to be a little more important And all's fair in, when you're painting, all's fair. You want to use your fingers, use your fingers. You want to use a brush or a knife, use, an, use that. Anything that works, that's what you want to have at your disposal when you are uh, painting in... Uh, Okay, now where's that brush I had with the blue on it? Oh, there it is, okay. 
See, I want this to come down a little bit here, even lighter, yeah. All right, yeah, this is gonna come down. And, and see, it's nice and light in there. And I see that, so I wanna make sure that I have the right value next to each other because that's what that's what helps tells the story now then that's this little rock here that's coming down that's coming like that and then it comes over here and then there's a, a little piece that comes out there and then I see a little piece coming up here like this and then this isn't so mounded uh, or so high it's a little goes down a little bit further right in here. I'm trying to be very careful to get my rock to look like the rock that's up there. I could just put anything up here, and uh, but that wouldn't really represent what I'm painting. And we don't want to do that. OK, now I think right over in here, we've got some nice pale green and right in here too dark it's even a little bit lighter right in there and it looks like it's a little more of a sap green or a yellow yellow green okay and that's coming up like that and then of course there's, there's the, the water, um, the foam line. And that makes a big difference right there. And then this, this breaks it up then. And there's foam in there. Okay. All right then. I'm going to do, I want to do this because I want to, Make this have some movement going the, the other way here. All right, and then this is all foam up in here. There's a little bit of violet. Um, I'm, you know what, I'm thinking so hard, I'm probably whispering, and I don't mean to be. But, okay, let's see. Right up, right up underneath this foam here, I'm seeing violet. And I'm just going to put it in there. And I see some down in here, too. And I definitely see some violet over here. Right in here. And, OK, now, now let's get this rock going here. And <clears throat> I think that I will um, put the dark in. I'm going to take the, the dark. I'm going to take that Payne's gray. Mix a little bit of a lizard crimson with it. Okay. Here we go. This is very, very dark um, right in here. I need a smaller knife. There we go. And then we have some dark coming up in here. And some dark coming up in there. No, it's not too much. Not too much of it. Maybe a little red to brown it up a little bit here. Okay. That's a little darker right in there. This is quite quite a bit darker in here. I think I need to just Go back to the brush. Here we go. Make that brush dance a while. There we are. And then that's coming down here. We have a little rock coming here. We have a 
Yeah, there's some dark shapes. Just looking for the the, uh, the dark shapes right now that are uh, the light is obviously coming from um, the west, uh, of which would be um, behind these rocks. It's behind and kind of coming down at an angle like so. And so that's why this side of the rocks are all dark. Okay. A little dark in there. Some coming up into here. Alrighty. Take that paint off so that it doesn't contaminate what we're putting on here. Some dark up in here and then right in here. Probably would have done better to just have blocked the whole thing in, in dark and then um, come up with my highlights. That might have been a better choice to make with this. That's what painting is all about, is about making choices. And sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll make a choice and it won't work and you'll have to switch gears, but that's okay. You learn from that. You learn something from it. Every time, every time, you, it's, there are no mistakes. There are only lessons. And boy, are we learning them today. <laughs> Wow. So anyway, okay, let's see here. Let's start getting some, getting some darker or lighter stuff on this. And I want this to kind of like soften down here because it's supposed to be going into the water here on the edge. There we go. And then there's some bright, um, right in here, the sand. All right, now then, okay, we'll come with a little more red and okay, so now then, There, okay. One of the really interesting things that um, happened that day while we were um, uh, there at the ocean at Laguna was there was lifeguard school going on. And um, it was really, really <laughs> something to behold because there was all these I, boys and girls, right? And they were all lined up in the water, sitting on the edge of the water, and they each had their hand, uh, their arm, around their neighbors. So they were like, like, like so. Everybody was like, like this, okay? Well, let me just show you a picture. It was really, really something to see. There was a big wave coming. And get my picture here. There was this big wave coming, and here they were, all lined up. Okay, whoops. And they, they're, they've all got their arms around the back of each other. Um, they're all in their t-shirts, except for some of them. And they're waiting for this great big wave to wash over them. And they're going to try to, you know, hold their place, I guess. It was really a very, very interesting um, um, lesson there to see them um, 
all sitting in a row like that, I asked my friend, I said, whatever in the world are they doing? And um, she said, oh, it's lifeguard school. They have to, this is the way they train. You know, so pretty brave, pretty brave, especially since some of them look like they were not very old. Okay, I'm trying to mix up a nice uh, warm sort of look for the, for the light parts of the rocks that I'm seeing up here. Just a little light, you know, that where the, the light is hitting on the tops of them here, over here, and up in here. And then, of course, there's, there's areas down here where the, the um, light is, too, because the rocks are, are all over the place as far as uh, having shapes that vary and small shapes, large shapes. Yeah. It's. And I think I want to take my knife now. Let me give that knife a try now. See if we can come up with some good looking rocks here. Make them look a little. Okay, now this is a nice flat area on that one. And then there's another little flat area coming right here. Okay, and there's some flat coming in there. All right, more paint. I hope you're enjoying this. Hope you. Uh, it's beginning to feel like the like the ocean to you. That's a little red. There, a little too red. We need to tone that down. Okay. All right, let's see here. There we go. And I think the, that uh, probably wouldn't hurt to have some blue in here in the rocks too because the, the water is coming over them. That may be something that I have to do when they are, the paint is drier. Sometimes it just won't allow you to, um, you, you get too much paint on and it just will not allow you to um, put anything over, over it without it turning muddy, mixing with what's below. That's why I wanted to let this area set up a little bit before I try to do any brush work as far as, um, putting in the water. Okay. And we're moving right along here on these guys. All right. You know, um, if I don't get this done today, I will take it home and I will finish it in my home studio and I'll bring it back on our next show and I'll show you what it looks like when it was completed. Um, I always try to do that for you, the viewer, so that you, you know, if you watch the next show, you'll have an idea of, of how the painting turned out and any changes that I may have had to make on it. I think that's important for you to see the, the finished work because oftentimes I'm not able to finish it um, on the show here. There we go. I guess when I kind of step back a little bit, it's starting to look a little bit like a, like a bunch of rocks. It needs some more highlights on it, but in order to get it light enough, I have to make sure that the other parts are dark enough. That's the uh, another uh, important um, thing with painting is, is in order for something to be light, you'd think you'd add more light paint, but you don't. 
you make your darks darker and then the light part shows up better. Okay. And there we go. And you seem like to be like rocks and things coming out here. I want to take some of this dark here and spread this down here. And then I'm going to try to take a little bit of the white and the blue. Let's see if we can just get just a little bit of a of the um, haze here of the water on the right in here. There's some water. This area right here doesn't look right to me. I'm going to cut that off. <laughs> well, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. There we go. Okay, where's that blue brush at? Yeah, that doesn't look right. Okay, when in doubt, wipe it out. That's what my teacher always told me. There. Boy, I'm really mumbling today, aren't I? Hmm, sorry about that. Sometimes you think, whatever in the world made you think he could do this? Okay, all right. Well, let's soften that down just a little bit. And that too. Okay. Now I think we'll put just a little bit more dark in it. Alrighty, now that I want to get up here, get underneath that wave. And it has a little tiny bit of violet in it and that viridian green. The anatomy of a wave is, is quite interesting. show you a picture of that in a minute here as soon as I get this on here. Okay. Violet up there. It's coming down. And this is this is coming right down in here too and there's needs to be more action in it needs more paint all right I'm just talking to myself just talking away here and take another brush come under here and I'm going to make this darker right under here Alrighty, right under there. We want that very, very dark right there. And right here, dark. Okay. And then this right here becomes a lighter green. And it seems to be coming down into this. And we've got a lot of crisscross things in it. Need a bigger brush.
This has got water movement in here. This is much lighter back here. Oops, didn't mix it good. Here we go. There. And that needs to be just a little more violet. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. It's like the shine, like there's a shine on it back here. And the, the water is making the shapes. Okay, put this over here too. Whew, I'm working hard. I am working hard or am I barely, or am I hardly working? What is it here? Let's see here. Okay, now that gives us the feeling of that water back there. And then we want some of this light to come in between here to show this dark shape right there. Okay, and then there's this light right coming right in here. All right. And there we go. Okay, now then, this needs to be lighter at the top um, and warmer. I think maybe I'll just add just a little bit of the yellow to it right here to show right up in there that there's a little bit of a light warmth up in there and the top part of that water. And now we'll go down into the darker part. Right in here now, and we'll just kind of, oops, that's not dark enough. Okay, let's see here. And then we have that little bit of violet coming back up into this, this behind here. Okay, now I wanna put just a little more of the white on this wave part right in here, this breaking and coming out here. There's a little bit breaking right there. This is, this is all coming down in here like, like so. And this right here, oops, wrong one. Is that the wrong one? Hmm. Okay. I don't know where that brown came from. Okay, all right, let's see here. There I am, racing against the clock. I just, I just got the 15 minute signal and I'm racing against time here. I know what I wanna do. Can I do it though? Are you with me? Are you sticking with me here as I'm journeying across this canvas and trying to give you my impression of, of what the Pacific Ocean looks like? There's some darks in there and there's darks coming up underneath here. But now we need
right under here there's dark and right here all right Hmm. Okay, let's go and down here below and get a little bit of water mark on the sand. And that's going to come out. Like so. Not real thick. Okay. There's a little bit that's coming over here. And and then there's more coming here. This is kind of interesting on this side um, right here because it's like it's coming down in a, like a swirl. Um, and that's really interesting looking, uh, an interesting pattern. Makes you wonder what was, what was it about the water or the sand or, or whatever right there that, that, that created that, that circle-like impression in it to be careful because I'm picking up what's below beneath and it's making my it's making my uh, paint muddy okay now let's see here if we can just touch this with the lightest of hand to make that look and keep cleaning the brush and that'll help a lot. Okay. All right, now let's see here. It's a lot of a lot of water action right in this area. That circle coming around. <laughs> I, you know, I am really, I, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm having fun. I may not look like it, but I'm having fun. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it too. I really do. It, it, it's a battle. It's a battle with a brush, but uh, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. I love it. And I especially love being able to share it with you and uh, share my, my travels and my stories and my creative process. I, I love to being able to share that with you. And I'm really, I'm really glad you, you joined today. I, I, uh, at least I hope you're still there. <laughs> okay, let's just soften this out a little bit here. Make it not be so... Okay. They always say less is more, but I always get carried away. Oh, well. We'll fix that later. And I save it for another day. <laughs> I want to get more water on this, um, um, this right up in here. There's a way that you can take your brush and just stand back and... Um, load the brush with lots of paint and just spatter it. And that's a lot of fun, especially if you're working on a, on a painting that is um, like where the water's crashing over the rocks. And we'll have to do that sometime to try that technique. Let's see here. This is kind of coming this way. 
then we do have that little bit of water there. And we do have some dark up here. Still, there's that little bit of dark right in there. And some dark right here. And then right in here, it seems like the water wants to come down, like so. Like it's coming into here. Same way with here. It's little, little bumpy things and little highlights as that water's coming down. There we go. That kind of comes up like that and then down. And Okay, and I see right here, kind of goofed up with um, this edge right here. That doesn't look like that. So I'm just going to wipe that out right here and let that come down with the water there. I'll give that a better shape too. And my handy little wipeout tool is one of my best buddies to paint with, I'll tell you. And this is nice and light down here too because it's foamy and it's kind of hitting me against these rocks right in here. Hmm. Boy, that brown, I tell you, it just really bleeds. But that's all right, we'll fix it later. There we go. Do we have something that looks like anything here? I hope so. Okay, let's see here. Maybe we can put just a little more violet right in here. Just kind of picking around here, trying to, as the clock winds down, a little more movement right in there, this area here. And this, that just looks so in need of a nice dark color in here. There, did that help any? I hope so. Yeah, I did. Oh, darn. <laughs> I just got the five minute sign, so what do I do? I put brown up here in my uh, blue. Okay, let's see here. This fixes. <laughs> this is getting to be ridiculous, Kitty. Well, anyway, if you ever get the chance to go to Southern California. You won't want to miss, trust me, you will not want to miss a trip to Laguna Beach to walk along the cliffs and look down and see the water, see the beautiful water crashing against the rocks, the wildness of it, the freeness of it, and that's why it's so important that we, that we take care of our oceans and our waterways. There. Just a little, little bit more right coming right in here. And I don't know, there we go. Maybe just a little bit in here, a little drizzle little drizzle in there. Can we get it? There we go. Because we kind of want to get the rock to, you know, to kind of have a few highlights on it so that it looks like the 
water is, is coming over it. And washing over it and down. Um, yeah, right in here too. Just a little bit and a little bit running down there. I think that kind of helps to give the feeling. This was a tough one today. It was a tough one. I hope you, I hope you, you stuck it out and I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, and I hope you'll join me next, next time. Once again, my name is Kitty Lynn Klish and this is Painting Journeys. And today we were visiting Laguna Beach in Southern California. And we did a little rock study, uh, jutting out of the beach there at the, uh, on the Pacific Ocean. So with that, I'll say bye-bye for now. And thank you for joining me. Funding for Painting Journeys is provided by Veritas. Financial knowledge is power. Be empowered.